Hey guys, what's happening? It's Ken Kaplan. We are on the first floor of the New England Motorcycle Museum. And here's another rare piece you've never seen before, or if you have, you've never seen it running. Uh, at least I haven't. This is a 1967 Kawasaki 120 SS. Starts up first kick, 4,000 miles on it, and first of the kit runs like brand new. And it's a hoop. This is an on off road. This is the original enduro bike made by Kawasaki. I, I go outside, but it's an ice storm out there right now, so come on in. Well, I can ride this little beauty all day long, but um, it gets a little smoky inside here, so. You know, to me, this is like a time capsule, finding a bike like this in original condition, original chrome, original paint, the original seats in mint condition. It has an original optional factory rack on the back, the original exhaust system, and I, I'm 99.9% .9 sure these are the original tires on the bike. That's what the text told us anyway. So 100% original, 100 points for originality. I'd give it a, a, a solid uh, 90 percentile for condition and you know they're only original ones so to find one that's been restored or repainted versus one that's original like this is really absolutely there's no comparison. Inside the tank is in beautiful condition and it's just been gone through by the best in the business here by Bill Blythe and the Dirt Bike Wizard. The tank was clean, the carb was clean, it's got new fuel lines on it. This is a rotary valve induction motorcycle. Uh, the carb was completely rebuilt. I've got more good news guys. We got interrupted for a good reason. The microphone part that was broken on this just came in and I know the acoustics have been horrible on our videos lately so now I've got this brand new handheld microphone here. Actually a new cord for it. That's what was broken. So anyways back to the bike. Um, hopefully you can hear me much better now. Stunning original 100% original bike. It's just been thoroughly gone through by one of our lead mechanics, Bill. He went through, cleaned the gas tank out, rebuilt the pet cock, put new fuel lines on it, cleaned the air filter, uh, rebuilt the carburetor, put the carb in the our um, hydrosonic carb cleaning bath, and totally rebuilt the carburetor, changed the gear oil, and then pulled, uh, when he got it running, he took it for a test ride, the clutch was slipping, so I pulled the clutch cover off, dismantled everything, and realized it needed a new clutch. So we ordered a brand new Barnett clutch and we also put the heavy duty springs in it so it'll be a little sturdier than the stock original clutch that's on the bike. So um, the ignition switch is actually uh, run by this on off switch underneath here. So it's kind of like a, a extra safety feature. You keep that off, you'll no one will ever f see it underneath there unless they're crawling around. So you can take the key out or if the key is in it, they can't start it unless it's an on-off switch. So the bike is, again, original. The chain is original. The tires are original. The paint's original. The pulse is original. It's a rare original survivor. And look at it closely. Look at the tank badges. If you do a close-up on the tank badges, they're absolutely beautiful. It's like a work of art. And the paint is a beautiful, like a metallic burgundy. Uh, it's a 120 SS model, as it says on the side. This is the, the um, road and trail version. This is the, one of the first precursors to the Enduros. The sh check the shifter out on this bike. It has a really cool heel-toe shifter. The shifter pattern is down for first, down for second, down for third, down for fourth, and then if you go down one more time, it hits neutral. So there's a neutral at past fourth, and there's a neutral all the way up. It's a rotary transmission, so it just keeps going around. So pretty cool uh, uh, technology that they had back then. Um, Kickstand's intact. The uh, center stand is intact. It even has the buddy pegs on it and it's a little 122 strokes. It has enough power to ride a passenger. I did a little research because I've never sold one of these before. So I got the NADA book out and I got the um, 
the comprehensive vintage uh, motorcycle price guide out. And I also went online to Haggerty. Haggerty rates this bike as a 3500 number one price, which is the same thing the comprehensive vintage motorcycle price guide rates it at, as does the NADA. The NADA is a little bit lower at 3180 um, We just put uh, quite a bit of work into the bike. It also went through the detail shop. It was 11 and a quarter hours of labor in the service department and six hours in the detail shop doing all of the polishing of the aluminum and the chrome and the tank and every square inch of the bike has been cleaned up. The center stand was painted, the kickstand was painted, the, the peg mounts were painted, the swing arm was touched up. Uh, just the areas that were, you know, the paint had was pretty thin to begin with. The, the, the paint on the tank is obviously original. That wasn't touched. And look at the upholstery on the seats in mint shape. In any event, the, the um, service ticket came to $1,805. Uh, the number two value of the bike is $2,800, and the number three value is a $21. This is absolutely a number one bike. I'm a judge for the Antique Motorcycle Club of America. I judge motorcycles at shows here and at AMC events. I've, uh, and I would, I'm putting this at, at 100 points for originality. And good luck finding. Uh, this is, these are considered a beginner's bike and an on-off-road bike. Most of them would get slammed, beat up, and broken. If you look at the chrome on the headlight ring, is in nice shape. The, the, the speedometer is nice and clear. Usually the gauges get all messed up after, you know, this is a, it's a, it's a 1967. So it, it's, how old does that make it? 52 years old. So good luck finding a nicer 52 year old model of any type, let alone a beginner's model. Look at how clean and beautiful the stainless rear fender is. The aluminum, the aluminum, actually, I'm not sure if it's aluminum or stainless. It looks like it probably is a stainless steel, but look at the front fender. The original front fender is absolutely in perfect condition, not a ding on it. The chrome on the bottom of the forks is nice. The spokes are nice. Um, this may be worth far in excess of 3500 That's just what the blue book says. We're going to auction it off. We'll let the market determine what it's worth. Um, it's a beautiful, stunning, original survivor that has just had 18 hours of massaging by the guys who do the museum quality restorations here at the museum. So good luck bidding on the bike. If you have any questions, call us 860-454-7024. It's got plenty of power. It's a 122 stroke and uh, it's only going up in value and investment quality bike. Of course, the IRS recognizes these as 401k or set plan uh, investments. You can talk to our accountant or your accountant and find out how you can invest in this bike as part of your retirement. So tell your wife you're not buying yourself a cool little 120, you're buying an investment. So any questions, call us 860-454-7024. Even the fork boots look to be like brand new. Um, they look absolutely perfect. I believe those are the originals too. I'm 99% sure. So um, just a fantastic, stunning, original, super rare survivor. And it's a Kawasaki two-stroke. Need I say no more. So good luck bidding on it. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And God bless America.